Hey guys, welcome to Weekly Crypto. Today I'm going to talk about EOS RAM as well as Wenchain and Ontology. So just to remind you guys that there's an ELF uh, giveaway and there's some candy box and you can sign up uh, the candy box but you have to complete certain tasks. For example, you join the Telegram group you subscribe to the YouTube channel or you like them, then you can earn some elf candy. So I will put the invitation link below and this will also help out my channel as well. And also, uh, this is a decentralized cloud computing uh, blockchain network just in case uh, you are interested. And mainframe token, they're going to have an airdrop so it's a freedom token for free and you can register by 3rd of July so in celebration on 4th of July also Morpheus airdrop so they just finished the uh, June airdrop I talked about Morpheus uh, a while back about this airdrop so stay tuned for the August airdrop also Loop Ring airdrop um, I did the loop ring airdrop probably a few months ago um, you can check back my previous video how you can claim the loop ring airdrop I will also put the link below as well and seals so seals uh, basically you can create a EOS account and this is free except you have to pay uh, the RAM and this um, this is sponsored by Crypto Lions so Crypto Lions um, they create a jungle testnet environment so this is good because uh, the adapts has to be tested on the testnet before they can officially roll out on the mainnet and so this is uh, good for the uh, developers also the hardware wallet uh, that uh, you know the EOS will support the hardware wallet is still in progress right now those are also testing on the uh, jungle testnet as well <coughs> So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop, giveaway, half fog or ICO. So let's get into it. Uh, also, you can follow me in Twitter because I also follow a lot of projects. So it's difficult to um, talk about every single project in my YouTube channel. So uh, let me get into this uh, EOS. So let's look at the EOS RAM price right now so yesterday it was 50 some cents i think 50 cents it go all the way up to 90 91 cents i believe it's insane 92 cents and it go all the way down to 58 cents it go all the way back up again to 77 cents and then it go all the way down again in 53 cents and we talk about create an account for the wallet right so used to be just one EOS you can create an account currently you have to pay probably five four or five years just to create an account because of the RAM price the RAM price going uh, so much you know so I don't think it's a good idea uh, because it will um, because people who bought a uh, EOS recently they, maybe they need to create an account I mean to them it already cost them five years just to create an account I mean this is a little bit crazy and um, used to be the RAM is like 0 0.03 or 0, 0.0 something, 0 0.02. And um, I mentioned in my previous video, I know that I can uh, buy some RAM, RAM and make some money, but I don't think it's a good, good to the community. So I decide not to do that and I decide not to buy it. And I don't talk about it in the YouTube channel because I don't want a whole bunch of speculation. And uh, another news is the EOS block producer, uh, EOS Nation, one of the block producer caught inside trading on the RAM prices. So EOS, EOS Nation is one of the block producer. And they talk about the EOS block producer have the power to control how much RAM exists at one time. Um, this is interesting. He's, he's saying that this guy is saying that this isn't inside trading. They are just buying and selling RAM to make a profit and <laughs> so they control the RAM price no matter what happened to the RAM supply it is reasonable to assume that an EOS block producer would have insider information on what the RAM supply will look like in the near future since the price is highly dependent on speculating actions of the block producer block producer making a profit off 
the RAM price by definition is inside trading. And don't forget uh, the broad producer uh, earning EOS every day. The top uh, the top two broad producer uh, earning over a thousand EOS and and the other two is 9, 000, uh, 900 and the rest is like 800, 800 every day. And some of the broad producers are using this uh, broad reward to buy RAM and speculating the uh, specul speculating the price uh, on RAM and it jack up all the price. <clears throat> I mean, I would rather they in invest in the infrastructure rather than putting the um, uh, the blockchain on the uh, cloud services, Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud. I mean, they should use the money to invest in their own server, their own infrastructure, right? But anyway, let me know what you think. Put a comment below. Um, and people are talking about all this drama every day. Uh, every, every day we have new drama coming in and this is like uh, collusion and cartel bar producer and all that thing and and also at the end I think one of the uh, person comment about so my basic understanding is that uh, he uh, this this user doesn't uh, did not hold EOS it's the RAM is the resources in some way it's similar to computer RAM but on a network level and if you have EOS token you can sell those token to reserve RAM in some ways on a very uh, uh, in some ways buying RAM is a bit like trading NEO for gas you buy it speculate and the hope is that the gas or RAM goes up and also he talked about I thought coal was law or was it or was it the broad producer was law was this some uneducated anonymous geek in a basement who rented a hundred dollars Amazon server, get paid for ten k per day to be a broad producer because he suck a uh, dense Ethereum and has both executive and legislative power plus folding weights because of his insane EOS payroll was law. So I think people are really mad about what's going on with the community right now, and also. So EOS broad producer inside trading RAM and he is talking about to prevent direct attempts at insider trading and to curb the inherent profit incentive and temptation to the broad producer. Uh, he was thinking of proposing a change to the system contract that prevent any broad producer receiving block rewards from selling RAM. The only way they can sell RAM is when they are no longer receiving block rewards because of getting fold out of the top position. And here they talk about uh, so they can buy RAM in another account, not related account, and they be they will be able to buy and sell anytime. I realize that it's a uh, it's a public uh, blockchain, so any average blockchain can expose the information and let the voters decide the fate of the uh, block producer. I think the system should have this proposed minimum requirement which would codify a minimum standard for broad producer conduct that the whole community would stand behind or to garner a high level of trust among token holders. So also, um, also, this is even even more interesting. I may be missing something, but I think it's important. Uh, broad producer are able to scale RAM whenever they want, and however, however much they want, you can buy a kilobyte of RAM at Best Buy for something like 0 0.001, and on EOS, it's selling for one box. Uh, I think it's ninety two. Uh, yeah, ninety two cents earlier. Um, maybe he referred to a US dollar or something. In my mind, uh. Broad producer have the opportunity to make a huge profit by adding more RAM, and if they are allowed to, if they are allowed to, they have a huge incentive to do it, which will drive the price down. But uh, broad producer will continue to arbitrate the price between Best Buy and the EOS network. I admit I may be missing a, a dynamic here that I have overlooked because it seems obvious to me.
So this is uh, this is pretty interesting. So so you should view rules as community agree upon standards of conduct that codifies consensus for the common good of all in the community. I believe this rule for uh, prop producer RAM trading is good for everyone. To your point about more expensive debt development, if there are debt developers that have insufficient funds, they should put their apps on the testnet and pitch their app idea to prop producer to receive funding. I mean, this is a good idea too. So, But the thing is, if the RAM is so expensive, if um, the, the developer may go on, go on to another uh, platform instead of EOS, because don't forget all this uh, debt de uh, developer, they start really small, maybe just one man band or a few people on the project. But they probably have a good idea, the lack of capital. If the barrier of entry is high, if the price of RAM is high, it just hinder um, the development of the depths. So, and also it uh, hinder the creativity on the platform as well. So um, EOS, uh, let's see. So whale watch by Brocksmith. EOS Brocksmith, uh, they have a whale watch. Let's say who own most of the RAM. So this is pretty cool. So this wallet has 15.3% of the RAM and this wallet is 14.7%. And this wallet has 7.1%, just these two wallets own almost like 20, 29% of the RAM, almost 30%. So you can see this wallet like over 1 billion uh, RAM and also this guy as well. And also you can see this wallet have uh, 870 uh, million RAM and... So... This wallet full for EOS, EOS Desk Server, EOS New York, and uh, EOS Career, and EOS Note 1 Block Producer. And you can check it out, like different, uh, they, this one full for different Block Producer and all that. So, I mean, this is a pretty cool uh, website, you can check it out. like. Who is the dominance for all this RAM? Uh, who buy up all this RAM on the network? I mean, don't forget we want uh, the more depths on the platform, and this will increase the network effect, and eventually uh, will increase the value of the EOS blockchain. So this is the the goal. But for whatever reason, right now people are just speculating on the RAM, and they don't care about the uh, depths on the blockchain. And here you can see uh, the voting once again. Uh, Big Finance EOS. Uh, this just one wallet, one point six percent of the votes uh, contribute to this uh, rock producer. And then EOS New York. Uh, by the way, EOS New York did make an announcement that if they decide to purchase RAM, they will make an an announcement seven days ahead of time for the purchase of RAM. And your store best, see this is a big wallet too, 1.6% of just one wallet voting for this abroad producer. Yours 42 Freedom, Liberty Broad, Yours of Fraudy, you can check it out as well. And on this side, the smaller the smaller folder didn't fold um, this only 0.29% uh, voting for the uh, big finance uh, EOS. And EOS New York, they have more, more smaller folder. EOS Canada, they have a big chunk of smaller folder. And down here, EOS, uh, let's see, EOS Cafe, they have more uh, smaller folder. So you want this side to be bigger, smaller folder, right? And EOS Real Brazil, they, uh, they did the Symbios uh, uh, wallet. And so you can see, oh, this is, has a big one. You also fraudy. They have a 0.7 percent of the smaller folder, so you can check it out. So uh, let's talk about Wen Ching. So Wen Ching just have a, a hackathon in California, and the nine year old is pitching to the uh, to the Wen Ching about uh, decentralized application about the uh, gun violence, and this project uh, this steps uh, won the second place. So this is pretty cool. 
they have a hack and phone in um in California and a nine years nine years old pitching the depths the gun violence um apps uh with the wrenching and ontology uh just be careful and because of the token swap and all that uh so watch out for the token uh, swap scam an email has been sent uh to some user claiming to be ontology foundation so ontology uh, uh, make an announcement they never contact user from an official channel so just be very careful with the scam you don't want to lose um, your token so let me know what you think about uh, this uh, EOS RAM fiasco and it seems like every day we have something new from the from the EOS uh, from the EOS community and let me know what you think about the EOS RAM, also um, about the wallet. Like you can create EOS wallet, you have to pay probably right now 5 or 6 EOS just to create an account. Do you think it's reasonable to pay 6 EOS or 5 EOS to just to create an account? And let me know what you think uh, all this. I would like to hear from you. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, uh, please share with your friends. So, and you can also follow me in Twitter as well. And make sure you subscribe so you don't want to miss out the upcoming airdrop, giveaway, hard fork, or ICO. Remember, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in ICO has inherent risk. Please use your due diligence.